Hi everybody, this is Glenn from GISUser.com. I'm going to show you a uh, clever, very innovative uh, mobile app for iPhone. This is iMap Weather or iWeather Radio for iPhone. This is from uh, Weather Decision Technologies. And what it is, it's an application designed to um, inform you of severe weather or emergency notifications that are in your area. So here's the app um, as it loads up. You can tell right now it's showing us information about Fort Collins, Colorado, which is one of the areas of interest for me. Here in the navigation on the bottom, you see My Places. That's, usually, that's probably a good place to start when you're first loading the app. You want to go into the My Places. Um, it can detect your current location or you can add places. So as you can tell, I have Victoria, Fort Collins, and Seattle here. Adding another city or location, maybe you're going to travel somewhere, um, you just search here and add it into your uh, hotspots. Pretty simple. Settings. So here uh, we have a list of all the different kinds of warnings that we can be alerted to. Um, you can turn the alerts on or off, so if we want just severe weather information, uh, maybe uh, you're in flood prone region, region, so you want to be informed of uh, floods. We have winter warnings, tropical storms, fires, marine warnings, you name it. And uh, the app will actually wake up as well, so if there's a severe warning in the middle of the night, the app will wake up and inform you about that. Of course we have a map functionality. Here it's showing us Fort Collins. That's kind of my home location that I have set on here. And it's showing us a uh, Doppler radar map of the region. That's handy for this time of year. So you can see a little weather up north in Wyoming. And um, particularly handy uh, during, during tornado season. So you want to keep an eye on the radar map. So we'll go back to the home, home screen. So here it's set on Fort Collins by default, or I can scroll to my other areas of interest. For Victoria, there's no active alerts right now, so nothing to see. Go back to Fort Collins. So we have a couple of uh, items here. Down here in the bottom, see a little red flag, so we have a notification there. It's just telling us that something's going on. And right here, you can tell we have a flood advisory until 2 p.m. Click that, and it's going to bring up the notice from the National Weather, Weather Service. And there you go, yeah, so we have a flood advisory. Poudre River is getting high. Finally, um, this is a radio app, so it's going to provide us with audio clips so we can listen to local alerts. Here it's going to bring up the latest, um, the latest alert for us, for the region. So there you have it. That's IMAP Weather from Weather Decision Technologies.